morning. Yeah. a ticket at the window and then walk in to enjoy a film. This may sound silly to you, but I've always wanted to try the whole theater experience. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel that my view was compromised in the least. It seems a lot of thought goes into the design and construction of a movie theater. It's thanks to you. I've never felt comfortable enough to come here alone. I'm sure most people don't consider this to be such a big deal. I imagine someone like Yukari would have no reservations seeing a movie by herself. She's likely more suited to riding a motorcycle than I am as well. It's just that my time available for riding is limited. Lately, I find myself dreaming about driving to some far-off destination without telling a soul. <laughs> Fantasizing can be fun in its own way. Together? Just the two of us. Can you ride one on your own? Or do you plan to cling on behind me? <laughs> Whichever it is. You've got your work cut out for you. In any case, you have my thanks. I'm feeling a lot better now. You know, I have to wonder, when my parents went through stressful times, maybe they had moments like this too. Sorry, I know this isn't the proper place to stand around chatting, but if it's all right with you, why don't we stay here a bit longer before heading back?
that seriously? Sorry to drag you along on this personal venture. <sighs> no, not exactly, but thank you. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance, but far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth is, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I need to show that I can take the lead, even if I have to make sacrifices to do it. Fiancé has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both inside and out. This is the best solution for everyone involved. Of course you didn't. You're the only person I've told so far. My mother and father walked the same path, so I won't run from my fate. Uh, you shouldn't make promises you can't keep. What could you possibly do? Still, though, hearing you say that almost makes me want to believe. Recently, I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? I think it would be best if we left off here for today. 
Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me. so much of your time. I'll see you at school then. a taste for fast food. Just the other day, I had the urge to ride my motorcycle out at night to buy some. <laughs> it's your fault that I'm having these temptations now, you know. 
Do you remember when I told you I was hesitant to meet up with you like this? I'd like it if you could forget I ever said that. We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in stressing over it. And besides, I just need to steal my resolve. Say, I have just one favor to ask. Could you continue to show me new places like this? Just until graduation. I'd like to see more of this world that I've been so blind to. Or is that too selfish a request? Thank you. Let's make some wonderful memories with what little time we have left. You've taught me so many new things. Whether you're taking command in battle or just talking with me like this. As long as I have these memories of you, I'll be all right. Or so I hope. Now then, the day is still young. You You promised me your time. I'd like you to make good on that now. Hey. Yeah. Sorry to bother you like this. I just had a hard time focusing when I tried doing my homework alone. Thank you for agreeing to study with me. What? Koromaru says he'll study with us too. Right, boy? What? It must be tough for you guys having to think about tests at a time like this. I guess even you feel the pressure, huh? Makes me wonder, should I really be doing homework at a time like this? Still, the only thing we can do is carry on and complete our schoolwork as always. What's the matter, Korumaru? Huh. He's got something in his mouth. Did you bring this here for us? Thanks, Koromaru. I guess he's trying to cheer us up. I shouldn't make him worry so much. Okay, time to study. If I have any questions, can I ask you for help? And done. That's it for my homework. Oh, you're still studying, aren't you? Is it okay if I stay here for a little while? I'll be sure not to bother you. Koromaru and I will be cheering you on. Good luck. Koromaru was with us the whole... Wait, what? Where did he go? Were you waiting for us to finish? I guess it's our turn to hang out with him. Thanks for studying with me today. If you're okay with it, I'd like to do this again sometime. This is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey.
Hello. Right. didn't seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey, that really struck a chord with me. <sighs> and then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Say, have you ever thought of running away to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? I see. So you feel that way too sometimes. I'm not saying I wish to leave everything behind. It's just that every now and then, the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company, the weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the Kirijo family name. <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to think this way. Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. <sighs> Hypothetically, let's say that I was interested in someone right now. I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Would that be... wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. Me. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, Mitsuru. I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Um, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <sighs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. 
I imagine you feel the same. <laughs> How dare you say that? Thank you. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Get lost. Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Kirijo Group still needs the cooperation of my company. Doesn't it? <sighs> yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. I'm sorry. Really. Please excuse me. It's all right. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Come on, Mitsuru. Hurry up. By the way, you, who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? You ought to know your place in society. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, Take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! Wh what? Wh why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M mitsuru what are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... And forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiance. Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru. It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! What? <sighs> I... <laughs> All right. It looks like everyone's here now. Well, it's been a week. What's our plan? You okay, Fuka? You're just so calm, Yukari-chan. I mean, panicking's not gonna solve anything. Besides, it's been such a drag around here all week, and no one will go to Tartarus. You're absolutely right. We humans are quite resilient. With enough time, we can adapt to any situation. So, how about it, everyone? It's time we discuss this. <sighs> Have you made up your mind, Sonata-san? 
No, but I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? I don't know. I mean, it supposedly can't be defeated. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. In any case, we have to choose one way or the other. I obviously don't want to suffer, but that means we'd have to take a life. Not to mention, we die no matter what we do. Then, do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? Me? Um... That's fair. I mean, it's not exactly normal to pick how you're gonna die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? Nah. What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... This is death we're talking about here! Of course I'm scared! I mean, here you all are, just chatting it up like it's a goddamn picnic! Can't you see? We're all gonna die! Then what do you think we should do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do! He's the only one who can kill him! Hey! <sighs> this whole thing is your fault! You had that thing inside you and didn't even know it! You raised it, damn it! If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened! Junpei! You're supposed to be special, right? Then do something about it! Stop it, Junpei! It's not his fault! And the only reason we even have a choice is because he carried it. God damn it, I know! It's just, it doesn't matter how many times I tell myself. I know this doesn't fix anything. It scares the hell out of me! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. They're all scared. I'm scared too. Me too. I've never felt so cornered in my life. <sighs> I can't stop shaking. Same here. We're all in the same boat. And hey, I'm sorry for teasing you earlier. I just don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yukitan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. I don't think any of us can blame you right now, Junpei. So don't worry about it, right? I'm sorry. I knew the truth deep down, but still, sorry for being a dick. All right. Let's put a pause on any unnecessary gatherings for now. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. Let's just try to go about our lives until then. We have some time. So let's consider our options while we still can. Sorry.
Hundred floor to the end goal. Of course, it's not that easy. That's our way up. Good boy, Korochan. Korochan found a one-way teleporter to the entrance. Oh, there's a treasure chest. chilly recently. Let's take care not to catch a cold. Hey, let's loot that chest!
dismissed. Always following my every move. Now to who you wanna be soon. First enemies is a 
Some fun! <laughs> 
creeps here. Huh. You know, we had some pretty rough times. We made it this far. We did. Trigger. 
wish I could understand what Koro-chan is saying. Then we could keep chatting. We got ourselves a shadow here. Oh, there's a treasure chest. a lot of energy in order to shuffle every single floor. But why the heck do the stairs at the station still...
do this. many nutrients as I can for my meals. Would supplements help with that? Huh. It's a rare shadow! Huh. Do your best to take it down!